welcome to the first FHS Hygiene Regional Work Summit. My name is Louisa and I'll conduct you through the presentation. But first, it's my pleasure to introduce our team. Here we have Caio, Ian, Matheus and Vitor. Hello boys! So first, let's see the materials with Matheus. Matheus, you have the work. Thanks Lou. Now, as we are trying to reconstruct the suspension phenomenon and a non-new Tionian fluid, we must search for a substance to establish an aspect and another to perform as a solid in order to obtain a semi-rigid structure. Therefore, there is nothing more adequate than water and starch, which can be found in every home. Obviously, we will need a surface and materials to mix the blend. Remember, the viscosity can vary, so the recipient must wrap the product. With that, I shall give now the spelling to Ian, who will take the procedures. Ian? Thank you, Matheus. So I said, we must recreate the most accurate conditions. Then, we'll do a combination of a large fraction of starch to the quantity of water and mix it up, till it gets a homogeneous consistency. We have to fuse for between 3 and 5 minutes. So, finally, we can obtain this. Note the most interesting thing about the Ublak, how it's also known as. That's the capacity to absorb forces acting in a solid-like state. But without stress, the fluid acts like a liquid, and that's also so impressive. If you're trying to understand what we just did, it's pretty easy. We'll, we'll start with the explanation with Caio. Thanks, Ian, for this amazing demonstration. So, first of all, we have to understand the behavior of the fluids. In rheological studies, what tells about the mechanical properties of old flow and deformation materials, we see there is a possible to describe fluid's behavior by constitutive equations. This is nothing more than mathematical relation between physical systems, in this case having the most important of them, the stress. Let's say, we can assume a non-Newtonian fluid is a molecular structure that does not assume at all the singularities of a common material, following the Newton's proposition of relation between the stress and response. In other words, where the shear stress isn't directly proportional to the deformation rate, the viscosity can be a little indefinite. In this specific situation, a pretty well chemical explanation is the fact that we have so much solid in this core that it's almost a solid scatter in a liquid. And when this is submitted to the stress, it pours as a solid, although when, it for, when the force ceases, it comes back to a liquid-like state. The impact resistance of this water separator is located between the starch chains and composes a semi-rigid structure. The same phenomenon is responsible for the quicksand. Kind of fine, huh? For a long time, even now, scientists have a lot of doubts to comprehend at all about this particular frame and the instability behind the substance. But we've made a lot of progress. It's used nowadays in pumping system study and in bulletproof and sports equipment to guarantee more safety and flexibility. An amazing presentation, guys. It's so interesting how such a simple substance can have so many interesting aspects. I really enjoyed that. So, thank you all, Caio, Young, Vitor, and Matheus, and thank you, expector and teachers, for watching our little submit. It was a pleasure. So, see you all again in third grade. Bye bye.